If you could hear her talk, you wanna listen more. Just in the way she walks, you know the queen is her sweetest. This position, it's uniqueness. She gives sexy more meaning. Without even trying, she's breathing. And no. Hey, Auntie. Good morning, y'all. So we are in sunny San Diego celebrating our anniversary and we are you hear my husband singing in the background <laughs> we are um today's friday we got in yesterday so i'm not i'm not gonna sh mm. he in the background making faces i'm not gonna show you guys our room because we've been here since yesterday so our room is already like a mess and i didn't hop on here yesterday to vlog at all because you know we just <clears throat> we had just got here i wanted to go see my my godmother and just have some quiet time and we just relaxed yesterday so i didn't vlog anything but this is outside of our room i like this yeah me too i chose this place because it's bungalows and it's very very private and I just, I didn't want to stay at a hotel this time. So sometimes we come down here, we come to San Diego every year and we've stayed at the Manchester a few times. And you know, there's the Manchester, there's the Double Tree, there's the Marriott. There's a lot of nice hotels here that you can stay, you know, up in you know, the top floor and have a view of the ocean and room service and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted the seclusion of being on a resort and staying in a bungalow. I didn't want to be in a hotel. So this is a resort and spa. We're at the Paradise Point in San Diego. We're gonna be out here for all of Labor Day weekend. It's our, our anniversary. And um, we have a couple of couples coming to meet us out here um, this weekend. One of my girlfriends is flying in with her husband. Um, Derek's cousin is flying in with her husband. And my god sister and her husband already live here in San Diego, so they're coming to meet us for dinner tonight. So yeah, we're gonna we have some ex excursions planned. Um, we're gonna go to SeaWorld. We're gonna do some jet skis. We're doing the boats. So we have a few things going on this weekend. Um, I'll pick up the camera here and there when I can, but I really just want to enjoy my time with my husband and my friends. So um, it'll probably it'll be a little vlogging, you know, here and there, but. Yes, we are at Paradise Point. At some point, if the room actually gets <laughs> cleaned, I will probably show you guys the room. But it's not like a suite where we normally stay with the whole big old nice room with the living room and the computer and all that kind of stuff. Not that kind of trip. This is all about love, relaxation, social distancing, and just, you know, just loving on one another with the couples that we have come in, everybody has been vaccinated. So <clears throat> we're just looking forward to having a good time this weekend in San Diego. So um, I'll pick you guys back up a little bit later when we actually get dressed and get out and do some stuff. We're about, we're about to um, get dressed and get something to eat. And um, we went driving around San Diego last night. Would have been funny if I would have had my camera last night. I don't have a light yet. That's something on my wish list. And if you know below what kind of light I should get, I've got the Canon EOS. And I'm not sure. I think I might have seen this camera on another vlogger's channel when I was in the market for cameras. I am new to vlogging. I normally do product reviews. So my setup is going to be different since now I'm going to be doing some vlogging. So you guys let me know what, you, what different things I should be getting to make these vlogs. Um, the best that they can be. All right, we'll be back a little bit later when we get dressed and um, actually get out and do some stuff. All right, hey y'all, so we're getting ready to step out right now. Here's what I'm wearing. Just some little Nike shorts, my Crocs, and an old navy t-shirt. We're gonna go right around San Diego and find something to eat. We don't really have plans. I'm trying to get this lighting right so y'all can see me. We don't have any plans until 8 o'clock tonight when we have a dinner. So today we're just waiting for everybody to get settled in, get checked into their rooms, and get comfortable, and get unpacked and all that. So tonight is our first 
event for our anniversary. We are having dinner at this restaurant, so I might show a little footage of that um, this night tonight. But I don't want to be all in everybody's face with a camera at dinner. You know, we just want to have some some time with our friends and stuff. So I'll give you a little glimpse, but yeah, we'll just see how that goes. In the meantime, right now we are on our way to um where are we going babe to eat i have on this lakeside citrus by bath and body works this it smells good it smells so good it's so summery and light and i like to travel with those because you can just easily just throw them in your luggage i don't like traveling with my expensive perfumes so i take body sprays i'm ready back i'm just getting my purse together we're gonna go outside and i'm gonna show you this toy that we're driving while we are out here this toy <laughs> that we are driving while we're out here actually before i even show you the car I'm gonna go across from our room where we're staying at. So this is actually the bay that leads to the ocean. Our room is facing a man-made lake. We can hear the waterfall. This side is facing the bay which leads over to the ocean. You're gonna see a lot of boats out there this weekend. That's where we're gonna be. We have a boat. We're gonna be out there this weekend. So yeah, the rooms on this side of the resort have, are facing the beach. I chose for our room to be facing the pond. For me, it was just something that was a little more tranquil for me. The pond was more tranquil for me. And peaceful that was the theme I was going for this weekend we are going to see world we are going to get on some rides because we are riders I'll show y'all some video of uh, us riding roller coasters so yeah that's that's our rental for the weekend we can pull the top down it's our little toy we barely fit in there once we got our luggage in we brought a lot of luggage and um, it was just funny watching us ride down the freeway with <laughs> big suitcases. I'll show y'all my suitcases because they stand out. They're like that funny teal blue color. So we were just riding down the street with the top down with big ass suitcases in the back. And it just looked funny. But this is the back of our room. And it's just the pond not a lot of people are checked in yet we came in on yesterday which was thursday so not a lot of people were here yet but i'm quite sure it's going to be pretty full this weekend because this is labor day weekend so i'm pretty sure it's going to be kind of filled up i can't tell this is the back of the rooms and i can't tell which room is mine from the back we got this old school went through Turo and got a really good deal a lot cheaper than some of the other popular commercial I'm gonna drop the top for y'all <laughs> online before we left he was like you went from the genesis to this because he got me the genesis a few months ago but look y'all look i picked out this car because i know my husband likes bmws right and i got this little car because you could really feel the experience when you're in a small car it's bigger than the whole car and the top goes down i thought that was cute so y'all know me, I'm a bargain shopper. You know, I'm the bohemian billionaire. I'm not the flashy person. I'm the, you know, the convenient and 
bargain shopper. So I found this car on Turo. It runs very nicely. It's cute. The top is down. It's the BMW like he likes it. No, it's not a new series, but that's okay. It's the nostalgia of it I all. I've heard of a 135. It's vintage. Not a 335. It's cute. A 135. It's cute. I'm in the whole car. It's the gratefulness for me. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how it looks with the top down. <laughs> It's not even like that hot as a matter of fact it's kind of windy outside but it's just the idea you were staying on the beach you know what I'm saying we are on vacation it's our anniversary the car is cute and I think I did a good job I mean I it was my turn this year I picked out where we we're staying the type of place we're staying at I got my whole bohemian vibe I did not want to be in the penthouse suite, which is what he likes to normally do. I wanted to be in a resort in a laid back area. And yeah, we're rolling in, the, in this old school drop top BMW that I rented from Turo. So, and we got it for the whole weekend for like $300. I'll put the link down below if you want to. No, Turo is not sponsoring this video. Just, you know, if I come up on a bargain, I'm gonna share y'all, I'm gonna share that with y'all. I'm not selfish. We're about to hit the road and we don't know where we're going. Going to eggs. Oh. <coughs> All right. So we're looking for this place called Eggies. He's trying to match me in his yellow shirt, whatever. Whatever. So we are um, looking for some breakfast spot over here called Eggies. The directions are kind of confusing. It's like in a strip mall. You have restaurants in the middle of this like plaza. It seems like executive suites in here, <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, I guess we didn't park in the right area. Because <laughs> my goodness. Sit-down restaurant? This is not a sit-down. It's just oh, kind of take-out. Oh, yeah. okay. It's just grab and go, babe. So we thought Eggies was a sit-down hey, restaurant. Doing? If you guys are ready for your order, just see that it's all come back. Okay, thank you. So I guess we're trying to decide if we're gonna grab it and go or go somewhere okay. so we can sit down. Okay, so we're at this place called Fig Tree. It's cute. It's right next door to Eggies. We were gonna go to Eggies, but Eggies is like a grab and go type place and we wanted to sit down and have breakfast. So Fig Tree is just right next door. But look, it's cute. We outside, but we not outside. Like it's a tent, an enclosed tent. It's cute, it's a vibe. So I'm gonna get, they probably have really good drinks here, like breakfast concoctions. I got crab sandwiches. Crab sandwich? Crab. 
Happy baby. Happy anniversary. because it's our anniversary. That is so sweet. So we just sat back down. <laughs> you know, we wouldn't be the perfect candidates for a reality show because it'd be too many pieces. We'd be like, uh-uh, don't film this. And like, no, we're not talking about that. And they still be finding ways to get the microphone in but places babe, where people babe, don't you, want to. See, you the one said I talk too much, so I don't want to be like. Oh, don't you talk too much? Are gonna take it with you? Take it with us, um, right? Yeah, we'll take it with us. I just want to see what it is. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. Huh? It has nuts in it. So it's for you. The anniversary from the chef at the fig tree. Okay, let's go to the next spot. So I was complaining to my husband about him taking a business call while we are out here enjoying our anniversary. But then he had to remind me, babe, you're vlogging while we're out here on our anniversary. So you're doing your business and I'm doing my business. So that's one thing to think about. Like when you have a nine to five, you could put in for vacation time and leave and go on vacation and just be gone and unplugged for the time that you're on vacation. But when you own your own business, like I guess that's the price that I have to pay because my husband is the CEO. So he can't completely unplug because sometimes people might need him and it's important. So I guess I have to look at it the same way. I can pick and choose whether or not I want to pick up this camera and vlog what I'm doing. It's completely my choice um, because I, I do have a nine to five. So, you know, this is my hobby. This is not my source of income. So um, I'm completely unplugged from my job and I just pick up the camera when I feel like it. So but I have to understand that that's not the case with my husband. So yeah, we're sitting here in the parking lot waiting while he finishes answering text messages and emails from his business. So <laughs> happy anniversary. Oh my goodness, y'all. Mr. then dropped his phone, broke his case, so now we are at T-Mobile so that he can get another case for his phone. My friends who flew out here from the Bay are here. So they've gotten all checked into their room and got something to eat. So we're about to go meet up with them and I'll probably get into something a little light and casual for, for a little while um, because the first event planned for today is dinner at eight o'clock so i'm gonna meet up with my friends and see what they're getting into and yeah i don't know what he in here buying but i want a speaker hmm i wonder if i should go in there and see if i can talk him into getting a speaker hold on let me see Hey, I thought you wanted to get a speaker. No, babe, we can't get that. Come on. Get up. What bank? Where's Fargo? Oh, is that where we finna go? Yeah. Okay, and then I need to see where um, Shoni is. It's not that I don't want I 
love for you every time I try to resist Taking it away, I'm just bitch feels in the next day All I wanna hear is an episode we play Staring next to you, you I try not to show how I feel about you I think I wish you were I really wanna Island Adventures, now this is cool Hi. Can I, hi, can I get, um, I want to rent jet skis, but I want to check and make sure about our boat reservation. Boat reservations? Yes. And I believe we rented the boats for Sunday. From one to four. And we're staying here at the hotel. Okay. Okay, so we we already booked our boat ride, but I have to do the jet skis. We have to do it online. So we can we can go to the room and just do it on the iPad or whatever. Okay. This view. This is just so peaceful. I love it. I love it out here. This is so cool. So we just saw two black families here today. So that is so exciting. I love it when we go on vacation somewhere and we see people who look like us. It's just so exciting. My skin is looking really dewy today. Yeah, man. Wow. I'm just doing a little lip gloss and a little mascara, but hey, my little skincare routine is paying off. Okay, so see where all this right down the folks. street. Yeah, black people, hey, black hey. people. We, we, we do a power fist every time we see black people. Because down here in San Diego by the beach, it's not that often that you see a lot of black people down here. Especially, we like to do like water activities. So we don't see a lot. The type of traveling we like to do as far as like coming down here to San Diego and getting on jet skis and ridden boats and that kind of stuff. And um, going up to Lake Tahoe in the winter time and getting on the snowmobiles and being up in the snow. Like a lot of the things we like to do, it's not too many other black people we find that want to do those types of things with us. So we get excited every time we see other black families doing nature adventure and stuff like that. They start, you see it out there, they start to fill it up. So there's signs that say SeaWorld. So yeah, I don't know what said, that's SeaWorld right there. So okay. we just gotta follow the signs. So y'all can see it. You can see SeaWorld right over there. The rides. You wanna say hi? What's up? Y'all know that's about all y'all gonna get from him. <laughs> he does not want to be in it like that. But yeah, the sun is shining. It's really nice out today. I think this, this is the perfect day to be out at SeaWorld. I hope it's like this tomorrow too because we're gonna be out on the water tomorrow. So I'm hoping for um, nice weather tomorrow. But you did check the weather. It did say we're gonna be sunny all be, weekend. Yeah, it's gonna be hot all weekend. Yeah. It's supposed to be 79 today. That's yeah. perfect weather. Yeah, so I'm excited about that. It's gonna be fun. So we're just getting ready to pull up into Sea Road and look for a place to park. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll pick this up in a little bit. Hey y'all, I know I have not been on here vlogging at all. We are at SeaWorld in sunny San Diego and you know, like there's roller coasters here so I have to keep putting my backpack up and putting my phone up and water rides and everything and so it's just so hard to like put it up, take it out, all that. We're just out here enjoying ourselves and um, yeah, I'm probably not going to pick this up again until um, until this evening. Well, did you we're invite gonna, the q site for me? <laughs> we're going to probably stay here. Uh, I don't know if we're staying until it closes, are we? Hell no, I'm ready yeah. to go now. <laughs> so we got here at go like 11. Oh. So we're going to see a couple of shows and there's um, a couple of more rides that we want to get on. But 
Okay, yeah, I'll be back probably when we're leaving here. golf cart to come pick us up and take us to dinner the island is pretty big so our limo's here yay we are on this golf cart riding over to our the restaurant that's here on the island so we're going to title and it's a restaurant here at Paradise Point. I hear the food's pretty good. So we'll see, I've never been there before. So I'll come back a little bit later. This is where our friends are meeting us for dinner. And this is when the anniversary actually begins. So you guys probably can't see me, we're outside, it's a little dark. I'll be back later. Sunday we are going out on um, some jet skis in a minute and we are also we rented a boat so we will be um, going out on the boat this afternoon so right now my husband is conducting business this is the thing this is what happens this is the difference between being married to someone with a nine-to-five and being married to someone who is a CEO when you're married to somebody who has a nine to five and you take vacation or PTO, or whatever, you can completely unplug and enjoy your vacation. However, when you're married to somebody who's a CEO, I'm out laying out by the pool, he's taking Zoom call meetings, I'm getting dressed to get on these jet skis, he's doing some last minute with his inspector on the phone, like he talks to his realtor, he has to talk to his finance guy, like he, it's not, a complete 100% vacation. It's like 75% vacation, 25% he's still handling business. So that's the downside of dating or being married to someone who is a business owner. You never really fully get to 100% just unplug. But anyway, this is what I'm wearing. I have this cute little short set. I don't remember where I ordered it from. Um, just one of the little sites online. Um, just these little, little shorts, little kind of crappy top, my, my beads, my little turquoise beads. I got these earrings, this necklace, and this bracelet in uh, Mexico last year for our anniversary. So this year we're here. In San Diego again for our anniversary. We come here every year for our anniversary. We love San Diego. Um, he got me these Gucci glasses for our anniversary. Something that he grabbed before we came out here for vacation. And it just so happened to match this outfit. So I have all that. And I don't know if y'all can hear him in the background, but he's like to the realtor guy. 
Every day I'm getting ready to go to the spa and my, my cancel our spa my treatment my because we're actually leaving tomorrow. So call him today if you can. Um, because he has to get back home to take care of some business, and we were going to stay here till Tuesday, but we have to leave tomorrow so he can take care of some business. Really appreciate it. Right now, I'm going to hurry up and cancel our spa treatment yeah, for tomorrow so that we don't get charged for it and yeah, my yeah, friends my should be here any minute because their jet ski starts at 9 30. ours don't start until 10. so yeah let me let me tell my husband what i'm doing so he's not looking for me yeah let's walk over to the spa i don't want to get charged since we're not going to be here tomorrow for our couple spa treatment again the downside of being married to the ceo gotta cut the trip short because he's closing on a deal tuesday morning so we gotta be home monday so that we can take care of that i'll talk to you guys more about what he does when i do a um get to know me or whatever y'all know what i do y'all know I, I have a hair care line but and I have a job still, so I can unplug when I get ready. You cute. <laughs> anyway, he be teasing me. Say I'm looking at myself all the time. But if if you don't know you cute, ain't nobody else gonna know you cute. You gotta make sure you look right before you step out. I could be one of those people that don't care what they look like and misrepresent my husband all over the place. But God no, I care what I look like. You if I'm going to Safeway, if I'm going to Target, <laughs> I care what I look like. You better tell I'll be back after we get to the jet skis. Hey, happy Sunday. And um, I wanted to get back on here because I didn't do my inspiration Sunday um, little message. So I just wanted to encourage and inspire you guys. Um, and I, I said a few days ago that I was gonna talk to you about um, how I manifested my current living situation, my financial situation. And I'm gonna explain to you how God works um, or the universe or karma, things that you put out there in the atmosphere. This is how it works. Um, I don't pray for money. Um, that's never really been my prayer. My prayer was that, um, this is exactly what I told God when I was praying. I said, God, I want to be able to tie $1,000 a month to my church. And I prayed that prayer. And then I just walked away and lived my life. I lived my life. Um, I wrote it in my journal. I put it in the atmosphere and I was able to be blessed with a salary where I can tie a thousand dollars a month. I'll let you guys do the math on that. But that was my prayer. My prayer now is to be able to tithe. I want to be able to tithe to my church ten thousand dollars a month. Hey, can we tithe to so in order to be able to do that, I'll let you guys do the math. Um, most, people tithe, most people tithe. Most people tithe ten percent on their income so i'll let you guys do the math on that Tight. we are right now <laughs> we are right now in san diego we just got finished with i i did a few minutes on the jet skis and then he rode out on the jet skis but now we are actually getting ready to go out on the boat with a few friends we're still celebrating our anniversary so we are out here on the deck or on the dock whatever um on the water, getting ready to get on the jet skis. And, oh my God, so cool out here. We got a, um, a pontoon boat later um, this afternoon. So it's almost 10. Our reservation is for 10. But yeah, we're out here. This is where we're at. This is right behind our hotel. So it's so convenient. If you're coming down to San Diego, stay at the Paradise Point. If you're into water sports, you can rent the boats, you can get the jet skis, you can get all that stuff. 
right here behind your hotel or your resort. I am convinced I like resort living better than hotels. I just told Mr. Porter that I would rather stay in a resort. Totally convinced that I like resort life better. They're giving us the directions, the instructions. On the other side of that island, all right? Once you go underneath that, the bridge over there, the bridge right over here, you can actually see it through the guy on the bike side of the bridge. Right? You go as fast as you want. We are out here on this water, y'all. Look. The water out oh my there, God. the water in combo is like. That's my girl, Deidre. Hey. hey. It's totally dangerous. Dangerous. There's Mr. Yeah, Porter. So we did the jet skis this morning, but yeah, you can see, because of course when you're on a jet ski, you can't film it. <laughs> Are you tipsy? <laughs> How many drinks did you have? How many drinks does it take to get Shoney to lay out on the boat? <laughs> we got Marcus and DJ over there driving. The boat. Yeah. 